Hello everybody, this is the 250 kilometer update on the M Super X. And as promised, every time we get an unboxing and a distance test, we then do a 250, 650 and a thousand kilometer review. So we revisit the wheels and then we tell you how we get on with them. So without further ado, let's go through what we've discovered so far. So the machine itself has performed absolutely flawlessly. We've had no issues at all. The only thing we have had is a weird bit of quirk with it where the front light, as you can see here in this image, is actually vaguely on all the time. It's not fully on, it's sort of quarter to half on all the time, whether the light's on or off mode. Um, so you've got the flashing and you've got the solid, but then also when you turn it off, it's on. When you actually boot the machine down, it's, it's off. So it's fine from that point of view. Gotway have supplied us with a new board, but we're not going to change it just yet. We're gonna let it run until 1,000 kilometers and then change it over. It's only if we start getting any issues then. We'll change it, but at this point in time, gonna keep it all as it is. It doesn't bother me at all. It's just not quite right, but they backed it up with a replacement board, which is good. The side pads are fairly hopeless, let's say. So straight away, as you can see, the damage on this side is substantial. And that all started from putting it in the back of a van uh, and it got a bit chipped out of it and it's just gone from there. Really. It's gone bad to worse. But also the rain, once it gets soaking wet, they absorb moisture and then it peels away almost entirely off when it's soaking wet. And then when it dries out, it sticks back on again. But vaguely good news is got where I've got these released. So they are the new side pads, so they're thicker. And if I can put them on the right way around, it'll be good, wouldn't it? They're slightly thicker and shouldn't absorb moisture so much and should be a lot better substitute basically for the original ones that came out. So they've sorted that and that's really the only failing part on this is the side pads. And it's, they're so thin, they might as well not put any on. It would save all that hassle. And then they could have released these as sort of an upgrade or even put them in the box for you if you wanted to put them on. A bit like in motion do, they, they include side pads if you want to put them on. So that's good. The problem with the M Super X in terms of design is it has no mud guard. So as you can see here, a little mud that's flown up all at the back and if you ride through really really wet weather that's going to fly up to your back now there are 3d printed ones available you can pay to have them printed and it'll slot into the back there but that's not great for such an expensive wheel you think it either come with a mud guard attachment or have a design where it stops mud flying up your back so dry weather no issue at all as soon as you start going to the rain and things then you've got problems so you either wear waterproofs or you get one printed up from a third party uh, and do it that way to do with wet weather, it's a tire as well. So road, no issue whatsoever. Trails, no issue whatsoever. But mud is a problem. This tire does not grip in slippy mud, essentially. There's nothing there to actually grab on and dig through that top layer and give you traction. So it can be quite a handful, especially with the amount of power this thing's got in those trails. In terms of the actual machine, there's been no issues, as I say. The foot plates, the angle of the foot plates hasn't been a problem. You just get used to it. The fact it's so thin, when I think of riding the 9.1 Z10 and how, how that feels when you're stood on it, this feels so much more controllable when you can grab the side here. And these may aid that, we haven't fitted them yet, but they may just come in. So we'll see what difference that makes. They're slightly thicker, as I say. We'll see how that goes. So. That really is it. That's all I can really say about it. The, the bodywork itself is held up. I don't think it's got any uh, scratches out of it. I think it's got slight, maybe a slight scuff there, but nothing major. I know with the old, the original when it came out, it was, a, it was a glossy finish and that started to peel off almost straight away. This is actually held up really well. So if I give it a quick clean, it would look almost brand new. Obviously it hasn't done that much. Uh, but as you can see, I've done slightly over the 250 kilometers, but a, a ridiculously powerful machine. And we've done a, a route pushing it as hard as we can, as I say, fully kitted up, just to test it, to see if we can damage it, see if we can blow that board. But not recommending anyone else goes out and do that, but the point is we are trying to test it to its limits. So it's the same with the range test we do, it's to the limit. So as fast as we can, over the hardest terrain we can, to see what the minimum figure is gonna be. Now, so we push this up to its top end with no, it didn't feel weak at all. Um, so the, the firmware is limiting it, before it even reaches its peak. Now it goes up to about 80%. So you've still got that 20% there, which you can't push past. So it's worked really, really well. Now moving on to the Gotway app, what we did this time as well, which we're gonna do with all the wheels, is test how accurate the mileage readout is of the app. So we use Map My Ride, see previous videos where we've actually tested this, the KS18L video, we did it as well. 
use map my ride which is benchmarked against a car to make sure it's accurate and it's deadly accurate we then use map my ride and run the gotway app in this instance and we measure is there a discrepancy between the one mile mark is it saying 1.6 kilometers and i'm glad to report that it's exactly right the distance gone is 1.6 so that's brilliant so it's measuring your actual total journey that's that's great that's really really good but as you can see in the screenshot it says mileage not kilometers on the top right so total mileage has got a readout which is great which is accurate but the actual current journey says naught 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 now that's a bug so when you open up the app what so if you put your phone into lock mode and put it in your pocket and then you open up the app again it just resets it, it goes back to zero totally pointless so again another app which is failing it needs to be improved but in terms of measuring the total distance of your journey totally accurate on this wheel to the dot it's exactly right comes out 1.6 kilometers which is one mile exactly. So that's good news. So that's pretty much it. We will now do the next review on this at 650 kilometers. So far, it's working absolutely perfectly. The massive tire on it is a huge advantage. A thicker tire wall is really, really nice on trails. And I've come from this to give you some benchmark, I've come from the Z10 testing, switched over to this to take it up to 250. And I, I, I quite like how snappy this is. So it's very quick to maneuver. And the tire, the thickness of the sidewall, it handles bumps really well, even at high pressure. So I quite like it at the moment, at the high pressure on the tyre sidewall. So at the moment, <clears throat> this is working absolutely fine. No issues. I really hope when we get to 650, we're going to have no issues either. Obviously, we'll report back anything we do, any repairs we have to do, anything at all with a touch on this thing. So we're not stripping it down. We don't do any of that because we want to keep it exactly as it was at the box and just ride it like any normal person would do, apart from that, we push it a little bit and just see if there's any faults that flare up. So far, none apart from front bulb which got way covered by sending another board out and also side pads which got way covered by sending some brand new side pads out so those two things minor for sure no blown MOSFETs or anything crazy like that no weird uh, firmware or anything like that it should be working absolutely perfectly so for those of you who are interested in getting this and are hanging out on these reviews I hope it's been helpful any questions comment below um, and that's about it and so I'll see you on the 650 kilometer test. Thank you very much, guys.